Hey, Mark Caribe, we are here with the chair of the Democratic Party here in Arizona, Felicia Rodolini. Felicia, thank you so much for your time. How's the night going for you guys so far? The night is very promising. We're very happy with what we're seeing right now. Early returns, but we're very excited and optimistic. Tell me about some of the races you're watching very closely tonight. Well, absolutely. The uh, cinema race is on our minds. Uh, we believe that that is one that we're going to win tonight. Um, we have knocked on over a million doors uh, since July. And our ground game has been second to none, and we think that's going to pay off tonight. Tell me what's been different about this midterm election compared to years past, because it just feels different in so many ways. Well, as a former candidate, I'll tell you right now, the turnout has surpassed 2016, 2010, and 2014 on the Democratic side. And we're seeing that in early balloting. There was over 1.4 million people who had already cast their ballots by tonight. That's impressive, and um, it's second to none in our history. Which voters, which groups of voters are going to be the difference makers tonight? We believe that uh, moderate Republicans will be voting for our Democrats because we are the ones that are fighting for health care and good public education. Independents are definitely going to lean uh, with us. And so, and we're having record turnout of Democrats. So with those three groups, we believe that it's going to be our night. We've also seen incredible numbers when it comes to women voting yes. and women running. Yes. What have you guys been seeing? What is it about this year that has inspired so many women to run and then to get out and vote? Women want to make a difference and want to, women want to get things done. And when we have been out talking to folks across the state, they're just tired of the chaos and they want to see real results and real problem solved. And women want to do that. And I believe that in the primary with the Democrats, all of our women candidates uh, beat the male candidates. And what we know is that right now the, the highest percentage of voters, Democrats, are women. We've also seen a lot of teachers, maybe inspired by the Red for Ed yes. movement, um, get out and actually run for office. Yes. What are you seeing in terms of those candidates, former teachers that are running tonight? They, these former teachers are inspired, they have fire in their belly, and they know how to talk to the people in their neighborhoods. I know teachers that are running in the LD15, every night they're out talking to Republicans and independents, and they just know because they're teachers how to approach these folks and get to know them and have commonality. Let's say tonight things don't go quite as well as planned. Some of those seats aren't able to flip from red to blue. Maybe Kirsten Cinema doesn't pull it off. Are there still some positive takeaways for the Democratic Party here in Arizona? Oh, absolutely. The engagement is off the charts. We're building an infrastructure uh, with a, a network that we've never had before, and that's building for 2020. And it's going to be a sustainable network for very a lot of election cycles to come. Arizona is a battleground state this year. Do you see that as a trend moving forward? Oh, we know it's a battleground. It'll be a swing state in 2020. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Best of luck to you and all the candidates tonight.